today we're going to start with the nervous system in humans. Okay, can you see it? Yes, I can see your screen. So today we will be starting with the topic that's the nervous system in humans. And um, to start with, first of all, you know that uh, we have different senses like uh, you know, we have the senses for smell, for touch, and all of that. So basically, the concept behind is this: how can we um, get these sensations, and what's behind this? So the nervous system, you can say, is the integral part of the body that can help us to um, sense all of those things. Now, first of all, to start with, we will see that the nervous system is divided into two types. The first one is known as the central nervous system, also CNS. And the third one is known as the peripheral nervous system, PNS. So do you know about these types? Uh, we've only learned about the central nervous system. Okay, so uh, let's... So far. Okay. So for the central nervous system, you, we, you, you say that this includes the brain and the spinal cord of your body. Now, the spinal cord is something which is like this that starts from like this is your brain over here, and whatever leads through your brain and to the rest of your back, this is the spinal cord. And for the peripheral nervous system, we say that all of the nerves that are included in the body they come under this heading. All the nerves, you know, that are. Now, okay. these systems, you can say, both of them work together in a way so that, you know, we can make use of our senses and we can respond to different um, stimuli and all of that. And this can also help to coordinate and regulate the body functions. Now, we will see that through these okay. um, systems, you have a, you can say, a mode of transport, which is the nerve impulses so the nerve impulses or the nerve impulse is anything through which the information is delivered from one part of the body to the other like if i say that from any sensory organ to the brain and from the brain to any effector in which you know that reacts to the stimulus or the change in the environment so for the nerve impulses you say that these are the electrical signals Because like if you have studied about the hormones, you would have seen that anything that is chemical in nature that, you know, that uh, conveys the information through the blood, that is known as a hormone. But for the nerve impulses, you have the um, things in the form of the electrical signal. Okay, now these electrical signals, they need a way to, you know, be transported like the blood or sorry, the hormones. The hormones can easily move or transport by the way of blood or through blood. While when we talk about the nerve impulses, they travel in the body through neurons. So do you know about the neurons? What are they? Yeah, our relay neuron, yeah. uh, sensory neuron, motor neuron. Very good, exactly, you're right. So those are the types of the neurons. And basically, um, you can say a neuron is the simplest part of the nervous system, which again, uh, takes the nerve impulses from one place to another. Now over here, remember, there is a difference between the nerve and the neuron. So we say that if this is a nerve like this, There are a lot of neurons present in it. So we say that a nerve is a bundle of many neurons that are present. Okay, I hope it's clear. Yes. Okay, now we, we will see the types of neurons over here. Hmm. 
But the types of neurons, as you just told me, we have three types. We have sensory, sensory relay, and motor neurons. But first of all, the first type is the sensory neurons. And we say that the, they carry the impulses from the sensory organs or the organs that can um, sense any change. Like let's suppose if we have receptor cells in our fingers and if we touch a hot object, we would get those signals um, you know, stimulated and they would stimulate the sensory organs. And through the sensory organs, you would have your sensory neuron. which would then uh, take those impulses to the brain. Or also spinal cord, because basically- The, the, the sensory organ not be considered the receptor. Sorry? A sensory organ is a receptor, correct? Exactly, yes. Yes, you can say that as- A receptor? Well. Yes, because you know receptors, like for instance, if I have skin, Skin could be the organ on large, but again, this skin consists of so many thousands of receptors that are, you know, joined together. So in a way, we also can say that the receptors, they can detect the stimulus um, in the skin. So yeah, you can see that as well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now uh, these, uh, then the sensory neurons, they take those impulses to the brain or spinal cord, which means that you are going or you're taking those things to the central nervous system, which actually then processes all of the information. And then, you know, there's something uh, that has to like uh, relay the information or like within the uh, central nervous system. We have the relay neurons that actually are found within the central nervous system and they, uh, you can see, they connect the sensory and the motor neurons. And the third type is the motor neurons and you know that the motor neurons, they would then take the impulses from the CNS or the central nervous system to any effector in the body. An effector, again, is anything that has the ability to, you know, take a, you know, a stand or, you know, to take a response to that stimuli. So usually your effectors could be like any muscle or the effectors present in the muscles or it could be a gland as well that can secrete different, like let's suppose enzymes if they are needed. Now, uh, what happens over here is that Let's just, you know, draw the structures of uh, these neurons too. Like, let's suppose if I say that I have a sensory neuron over here. Let's draw it. It has a receptor over here. There's a cell body present over here. something like this and you have some dendrites you can say over here so this is a, se a sensory neuron in which you have this is basically the receptors are present over here so this side would face the skin and this is the exon an exon, is, you can say, is a part through which uh, your neurons can travel. So it's kind of a road kind of a thing, which the neurons take, uh, sorry, the nerve cells take. And then over here, this is the cell body, which you can say um, consists of the nucleus, which can have different processes occurring inside and in a form can provide energy as well. And then also there's one more thing, which is that the exons, they have these um, insulation kind of thing, which is known as the myelin. And the myelin, again, it's like, you know, it provides insulation because what happens is that if there is an impulse over here, which I'm showing with this pink color, it has to, you know, for, for it to travel, it has to jump along the, um, 
can say this x on so wherever the myelin or these you know fat deposits are present it's going to jump from you know one node to the other escaping the myelin present okay any questions yeah okay okay then what happens is that from the these dendrites uh, straightforward okay so from these dendrites you, you say that your impulses then they reach an end and that end actually connects to the CNS over here, which consists of the Rayleigh neurons, which are something like, you know, this, they have a nucleus inside, this is the cell body in between, along with the dendrites that are coming out, and which you can say they are interacting with the dendrites or these um, fibers of the, uh, the cell. And then you have an exon in the middle again, and with the exon again, you have some more extensions at the end, which will now connect with the effector of the body. And as I told you, uh, you have the motor neurons that connect the CNS to the effector. So over here, then you're going to have again a motor neuron. You can have a cell body first of all over here, something like this with extensions or dendrites and an exon along with then you can say um, more extensions that would send the signals to the um for you know to the effector which has to then take an action so i hope it's clear okay I understand. Now,